Joseph Aloba, father to the late singer Ilire Olua Aloba, popularly known as Mubad, is yet to come to terms with the closure of his son's death. Earlier this month, he was greeted by officers of the First Criminal Investigation Department, Alagon, in the Koyi area of Lagos State, over a petition filed by Oba Said Elegushi. According to the head of the Aloba legal team, Munisola Odumusu, the petition borders on cyberbullying, cyberstalking, and criminal defamation. Joining us now as we look at the findings, resolutions, and possible state of affairs of the death of Mubad is Joseph Aloba, father of the late Afropop star Mubad, and Aziz Ulurin, who is a friend of the family. Gentlemen, good morning, and thank you for morning, coming to the uh, morning good show. Well, morning, sir. Morning. Long story. First, uh, Mr. Aloba, we commiserate with you on the loss of your son. Our condolences. We have followed the story, and it's good to have you on this program. Now, before we talk about uh, the issue with uh, Obaile Gushi, let's start with the main issue. I mean, you've been in the media. You've been everywhere. You've been interviewed. The death of your son, you've been accused of uh, burying him too hastily. You've been accused of exhuming the body for autopsy. The uh, corona has said, well, they cannot trace anything. There's also the issue between you and your son's uh, wife. Issues about uh, DNA, you know, whether the son is legitimately an aloba or not. I mean, all of that uh, crisis and people expressing concern about you even going to fight over your son's property, wearing his clothes and all of that. Okay, you are here with us. You have an opportunity to address some of these issues. And after you, uh, Mr. Lune, we would like to hear your perspective. As uh, in law, they will call you Amicus Curia, <laughs> a friend of the court. <laughs> so you give us your Amicus Curia, you know, a witness uh, position in this matter. Mr. Loba, we start with you. Um, good morning, viewers. My name is uh, Joseph Aloba, the father to the late uh, Mubad. Um, uh, on the 12th of uh, September, the mother to the late Mubad called me. It was around 4 o'clock. And when I just heard that call, I was surprised. Say, my son is at his hospital, that they need my attention there. Now we now decided that we should go together. I was at the bus stop, he just let me. So when I reach where the boat is, we go together. Um, on my way, our way going, we, there is a lot of calls coming in into, his, into her call. I've been hearing conversation that now it's at the hospital, that we should move down to Oshapa, London, uh, which is the, the bus stop link to the hospital. On getting there, we make a call again, and they said we should go back home, that the, the boy is responsible to the treatment, that we no need of coming. I was shocked, and I collected the phone from her. I was talking, said, Daddy, you are there, and let everything be, I should be going back home. And I see a lot of the way you are recalling the mother since. So I decided to go and see, the, see his house. But that very day, there's a lot of ghost law on the road. So we didn't reach there in time. It was around 9.30 to 10 that I, I could be there. And I met a lot of people gathering together. I was shocked. But uh, I decided to go and see, to enter. Because we normally meet at one point at his, near to his room. So that is where I first go. But on getting there, I meet a sock blood, so with uh, blood. It's a white, but this thing was thin all over. I saw that. From there, there was a guy walking with him. They called him uh, last time. He's the one that come and tell him, Daddy, come here, come and see where the body is. <sighs> when I come in and I met the body, it was already in bam. I don't know what to do. I was shocked. My first question is to his wife, what happened? 
how come? Because whatever they have issued, they normally call me. But since all these things happen, no response, nobody called me. And he said, Daddy, uh, it was nurse that gave injection. He even said I should take the body to my native town. I should go and do some uh, ritual something there. I said, well, I'm a pastor. Uh, and I said, okay, let us call ambulance. Let's take the cop to the police station. We should go together that night. On getting there, they delay us for complete three hours. I was there discussing, and they gave me a paper. I said they should write on my behalf. I dictate to them. This is my son. This is what happened. And after that, somebody just came from a new office and he said they should not grant me the uh, invitation. They should not give me any paper, police report. Ah, police report. And I say, ah. and I say, why? This is what I've been waiting for over three hours. And he asked me a question that when these events happened, where did I go? Where did you report? Which is the near rest station did you report to? I tried to explain myself that I'm a stranger on that side. I didn't know anywhere. Uh, and I wasn't oh, there. Uh, Mr. Aloba, sorry yes, to interrupt you. Yes, sir. If you can just deal with the specific issues. Okay. Why did you bury him early? Uh, the autopsy report. When are you going to uh, bury him again properly? Uh, what is the issue with Omar, Omar Wume, his wife? Why are you worried about DNA? Why do you have issues wearing his clothes and uh, with his mother and all of that? You have to be very specific. Okay, okay. We are very limited. Yes, time. yeah. Okay, I want you to be just give me those questions one by one because everything I've <laughs> polluted. So, where did I start from? Okay, uh, the reason of burying Heli is, you know, in Yoruba land, that's the first one. But my intention is to keep the body at this a mob. But there's no evidence, I mean, document. The police did not give me any police report. At the same time, I wasn't know that the uh, doctor report, I mean, the doctor's statement to give the body to the mob was with a uh, uh, wife. And it did not present it to me. So when I reached mob, they now said, they asked me that two questions, that where is the police report? Where is the doctor report? I wasn't able to present any. So there's nothing for me to do that night. Okay, we have to call and have ambulance. Because the first one was uh, the arrangement given to him is that exactly that much. Really. So they arranged for another one. I can't be staying with the body according to Yoruba land. I can't be seen that's it continuously. I have to instruct the PA that you take care of this thing. I'm going home for the arrangement. So that what happened about that. Okay. Uh, better okay. of, what of DNA? The DNA? What of your quarrel with the wife? The, the, the DNA issue. And uh, quarrel over property. So thank, thank God for the uh, corona. A lot of things have been hidden. I didn't know anything. But when we now begin narrate a story at the corona, that's where I hear from the, the wife uh, of the sis said the placenta wasn't given to me. Says it's then I'll be quarrel with her. And they had not put mine on all those kind of something. But from there, I now detail that there is something behind that. Who didn't give the placenta to her? I, have, I, with what I saw it, the, I didn't know. I mean, they give to the right owner. So have they, no. have they done a proper DNA matching for mm. the father and the child? No, 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 no. There's nothing like that. What's happening between you and the king? Mm. Why are you defaming him? See, I did not. Because when my son was alive, we have a conversation with each other which is mentioned that someone at so so place have been treating him continuously whenever he wanted to have show. So when the night told me that, and I said, okay, if you don't have outside, you're supposed to have in. You come back to Ikorodu. Let us make an arrangement to meet Ikorodu King so that maybe they can call the other side into order. Then I even report to the, uh, that somebody we call shifts near our community there. I narrated the whole story. And I said we should be expecting the boy to come so that we can go together. That is the arrangement. But the day the boy came, he was having another thing entirely. He shared rice, share money. So on getting to my house, a lot of crowd was following him. So we can't meet 
to okay. meet the king. So is that the case? Was that the case with you know the uh, king? You want to come in here, please. I, I think you should yeah, come in here. Yeah, let's hear from Mr. Yeah, Mdoni. yeah. yeah. Uh, the whole case looks somehow shady. On the let me start on the petitioner. Well, what brought about the petition? Because Baba is not the first person that will be petitioned. We still have like two or three of people clamoring for justice who are still in correctional center now. Uh, there is a petition that is flying around in which it was established, even with video evidences, that this boy was bullied. Because when a case like this happened, you have to investigate everywhere. The house, what happened to him 24 hours before, 48 hours before, even six months before, which could have an effect to taking away his life. So there was a petition that the boy wrote to Alak Bonzul. Now, he mentioned certain names. And anyone that wants to speak concerning the petition will read out those names mentioned. So in mentioning that name, I think that is the name where... Which name? Which name? Be specific. Well, if I'm to be specific, because there is freedom of speech, but freedom after speech may not be guaranteed. No, Sam Larry was there. We have Obele. We have uh, their names. And in in that petition written by Mubad, he said this people keep bullying me, beating me around. And whenever they beat him, they say it's at the instant of Obele Bushi. That it's Obele Bushi, Obele Bushi has already issued a statement saying that Sam Larry is not a member of his family. He has no association with him. So how is well, that still an well, issue now? We, we, we only call for the police to do proper investigation on this. No, so when you say the bullying resulted around the death. The empirical facts okay. on what caused the death is in the autopsy report you submitted. Well, I have read that autopsy report in full. Okay. There was no trauma or assault to the body as cause of death in the autopsy report. In fact, I think the father went to do a toxicological report in America. Well, what they saw was there was the presence of an antihistamine and so, a couple of other you know, things that they are used yeah. on him. So it wasn't a body blow. It wasn't a trouble blow and everything. Based on the same autopsy report that you people brought forward, I don't know the outcomes of the uh, toxicology reports. Well, maybe all of that is still on. The toxicology, the autopsy that, that was initially done, nothing could be, yes. in, would, could be nailed in there yes. too. Then they carried out an autopsy, which we were told was done in America. Even before now, let me say this. At the end of the toxicology, the pathologist that came to the last inquest made a statement that cause of death could not be ascertained. Yeah. yeah. So having said that, even before then, we have been a bit doubtful of what the result could be because of certain circumstances that we could hi highlight. It. What are those circumstances? Fine. Uh, the exhumation... And do you success foul play in all of this? Well, the public suspect it. And do you too. suspect foul play? I, Father I, I Moba, do you... Father, I wasn't pleased with the results. Okay. Also, there's a lot of delay on Zanina because... Well, uh, hold on. Let, uh, the exhumation was done on the 23rd of September. On the 21st of September. And samples were said to be taken by the, by the report... That we have samples were taken on the 23rd and uh, toxicology normally takes eight to ten weeks because we have contacted various laboratories and we were made to understand that when toxicology the duration of toxicology test in this particular case could take like eight to ten weeks so but we never heard anything after that September, the government, the police, uh, the medical center of Lagos, they kept moving. We didn't hear anything. Not until when this man took it upon himself that, well, I need a voice. He had to go to Abuja 
there is there is a human rights uh, radio TV station, Berkete radio station. So he went there, he narrated and sought for an assistance that please save me. They killed my boy and Lagos State government. Who are the day? Yeah. Who are the day? You know, when the death is not natural. Anybody that is where we can say that because. So you he, suspect foul play? He, in, in yeah, yeah, it's not natural. I saw him three days to the dead. He was eating. He was playing at the second day. He have a show at the Korudu here. So even when I met, when I entered his room, I saw a, a, a cloth soaked with blood. So, okay. okay. Mr. Alova, yes, sir. Yeah. Look, in a case of homicide, where you suspect foul play, you have the right as a, a concerned party to go to court. Have you taken any step to sue specific persons to court, to accuse them yeah. of complicity in the murder of your son? That's number one. Number two, you have still not responded to the question I raised about DNA and your issue with the wife mm. of your son. So are you still going to pursue that? Where are we with that? And then number three, you have not responded to the question I asked because you were talking about Yoruba tradition. Yeah, Yoruba tradition. Yeah, yeah. People are worried about your attitude as a Yoruba father. I don't know where you are going to start from. Okay. They said you were wearing your son's clothes. No, let, let me answer that They one said first. you were trying to also release uh, music, a song. Yeah. You, you two all suddenly bec became a, a, a singer with a promoter saying that you are a musician too. So um, these three major issues, DNA, your attitude as a Yoruba father, and then whether you have taken any steps to sue the people you are accusing of homicide. Yeah, um, I did not have any bad mind with any, any wounds. Let me start with the clothes. Uh, when my son was alive, <coughs> we normally buy clothes. When he buy clothes, you buy mine. This is when he died, I never entered his house for anything. There's nothing like wearing his own clothes. That one is out of it. There's nothing like that. So concerning the DNA aspect, uh, a lot of things have revealed to me that make me doubt the, like the plants now. Um, one of his friends, closer friend, said the fight, the fight on that day they go to show. The complaint, my son was complaining is the paternity of that boy. That he was doubting that boy. Another thing is this. When we started something on Corona, she mentioned that simply because the placenta was not given to me. And those are the angles that make me say, okay, that means placenta the, the placenta. The, you the know, placenta will go to the father of the child. They just, it's not to the not. grandfather. Mm -mm. You know, in Ireland, there, there's nowhere to bury the placenta. He called me on phone. Say that he, he, made, he delivered a baby and the placenta is with him. And I say, okay, we, we are, this, I mean, the street is not just like three bus stops. I'm expecting you to bring the placenta. It was a few minutes. Okay, and I call him. Where is the placenta? Like you say, ah, the placenta I've been given to my mother in the year. That is the mother. No, the person see, who buries the placenta is the owner of the child. Yeah, that is it. So he in laws don't bury placenta. They will give the placenta well, to the sir. father. What I'm the trying child. to say the placenta was not given to him. Was not given so to move the placenta away. That's, 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 that was that's, the, that's, that's the question. That. Showing, sir. Okay. okay. So, what no, no, he has not finished. Okay. okay. He, he has not finished. So, uh, uh, this placenta issue. Mm. Yeah. The other one about you also singing and. Uh, Yo, uh, that singing aspect, I'm a musician. But many doesn't know. I taught him how to sing. More bad. Because I'm a carpenter, I'm a funny, I mean, musician. We normally sing whenever we are doing our carpentry work. Are you, have you, are you now, suing anybody? Have you sued no, anybody? No, 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 nobody. So, uh, by singing after he's dead, that is the only way I can express my feelings. Okay, so you've, you've always been a musician before. Um, uh, yes. So, a lot of people are saying, 
why was it after his death uh, no. that you wanted to capitalize <laughs> on the fame even, after his death? Why didn't the, you? I mean, it would have good. It would have been good for you, the father, and so Mubada, Mubada's father, oh, to release a collaboration before yes, he died. Yes, we have something like that. Oh, you have it recorded. Yeah, we, we have something like that. But in his own uh, way, he just said, "Daddy, let me remove your voice." There was a song that you render. Say, "I will answer to law. I compose it." So you and Mubada signed the song yes, together. Yes. Secondly, let me get down to brass tacks as grass's DNA matter. Okay. Have you guys been able to be successful in doing a DNA test? No, what no. will it take to do that DNA test? Uh, do you have DNA swabs of Mova? It's already passed now. To be able to also get the swabs of the child and juxtapose mm -hmm. both well, of them. Well, see, the, 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 the government has really uh, done us a, a kind of... has given us that opportunity, which could lapse any time. The body is still under corona. And body under corona... At least nobody could have so, access to it. So when now, are you guys going to be able to take now, Liam's now, swab and, and yeah, continue yeah. the DNA? The thing, is this, the thing is this. To have access to the courts, we need a court order. So an application has been made to the court since February. No sitting, no, uh, not assigned to any judge. It has just been there. What is the substance of the application? The substance of, of the application is uh, carrying out the DNA. You are still insisting on the DNA? Yes. Yeah, but is, is, he, uh, is someone who may agree to the DNA? He's not agreeing. That's why he, she even made a request that she needed a court order. Uh, but the DNA cannot be determined by placenta. That's no, Yoruba no, no, tradition. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. It's, the, a the, the, it's a different thing. The thing is this. What gave Baba the suspicion that, okay, there is a friend of Mobad that they went to the show together. When he was giving his narrative at the inquest, he said, while they were coming on the way, that Mubad said, I only slept with you once, and you came back to tell me you were pregnant. Biologically, no, if no, you sleep with in, a woman no, no, once, some state, she can get pregnant. Well, some statement could be implicating. No, that, that one is not implicating. If you sleep with a woman <laughs> once, oh, she can yeah, get I, pregnant. I understand you. I understand you. There, are, there, are, there, are, there is a fact from there. Now, another one is this. When he told the father, no, but the, the man has never had any thought on the placenta. She went, she came to the corona court and said, since I refused Baba the placenta, that's when she okay, started Okay, let, let's, let's, let's remove the placenta okay. matter. That's, you know, cultural implication. Okay. So you want to get a court order to be able to get to do a DNA, right? That's yes. what you want. Yes, Those yeah. are your requests. Yes. Secondly, what about his property as we speak? The property is, um, for now, I did not have any access to it. What I about the talk that you are fighting her because of his property? Oh, so that's Capitan. No. Well, I didn't have a, <laughs> that's not, so you've never it, what, made any move at all. So what, what, you, what, what are you keen on this kill? DNA? Is it because of the property or because you want to know the truth? Mm, it's because I want to know the truth. Not Intention. because of the property. No, no, no. In, an, in a case where whatever happens in the DNA, yeah. would you still take ensure that uh, Amomi is taking care of as Moba's wife while he was alive? Mm, you know, in that case, uh, you know, they, they do not have any... Uh, um, what do they call it? The, the, their marriage was just... Uh, Were they legally the married? No, 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 no. There was no, no legally no, bad no, no, marriage. It was a traditional marriage. It was a traditional marriage. Yes. Which was a customary marriage. It was just as valid as any other form of marriage. No matter the form of marriage is, no matter the marriage, whatever happened, the DNA, why is existing? It's just because of motive. Okay, so you want your DNA tested. Yes. Yeah. Number one. Number two. And you still feel that it's just because, because of motive. Okay, so you want your DNA, number one, and you still feel that... The circumstances around his death is shrouding a lot of misery. Yes. So yes. you want to go to court as regards that? Yes. And, and private or the, but if I even demand for the father the private, is demanding yeah. and applied for private, private autopsy. autopsy. So you want autopsy. a private autopsy. So three requests. Thank yeah. you so much. I think we got to the Well, but the official autopsy already says, given the time. I'm not satisfied. Uh, looking at the circumstances, because we've even verified from the lab in US, NMS, Pennsylvania. They said they never received any sample of such of such name. Okay. Okay. So, so it's still a developing story. A mm. developing story that. Has but as a father, are you not worried that the spirit of your son has not been properly laid to rest? Yeah, I'll be worried. And what's exactly that delay me now? I want the facts to know the cause of the death and to know the patterns of the boy that he left. So, if this matter goes on for the next one year, it doesn't matter to yeah, you. Yeah, for me. 
Because this, my son, before he died, there's a lot of things that I review. He said, if I was killed by you, yeah, the audio is out. If you pay me, you cannot pay the whole of the family. So okay. I'm standing for him to get the justice. Okay. You, That's you my question. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, you very much, uh, Mr. Aloba. Thank you, Mr. Oduray.